What's up my friends? So I got a comment recently about how panels work, how electrical panels actually work. There's like the two bars inside, right? And the, there's breakers that hook up and like, how does it all work? Let's get into it. Now to start out, let's talk about the components of an electrical panel. There's a few things that you need to know. First thing, we've got the incoming terminals for each one of the phases. And if it's a single phase panel, you're gonna have one on one side that's probably gonna be a black wire, one on the other side that's gonna be a red wire. These are where your incoming ungrounded conductors or hot conductors go. Next, you're gonna have a neutral terminal and the neutral terminal connects down to a neutral bus where all of the neutrals get landed. A lot of times you'll see two neutral bus bars, one on each side and there's like a bar behind that kind of leads all of them together and connects both sides. But sometimes you're only gonna see uh, one neutral on one side and then you'll see like the ground on the other side So both of those bus bars might look the same But one of them is neutral and one of them is ground that brings me to the next component the ground terminal and the ground bus bar What you'll notice with a ground bar though is that it's attached to the panel It's literally like physically touching the, the metal of the electrical panel But the neutral is always isolated with some kind of plastic and there's a reason for that we'll get into that I've got other videos that we can look into about why we bond uh, but for now, this is just the basic components. Now, the, the actual guts of the panel or the panel board are completely removable. You can take a screw out and pull the entire panel board out so that all that's left is just a metal can. And if you ever have you know, a damaged panel board, you can take one out, go get a new panel board, put a new panel board in its place. Another thing to think about is whether or not you need a main breaker. A main breaker is a switch essentially that shuts off the entire panel board shuts off all of the bus bars so there's no power to them some situations that you get into if you're in a sub panel somewhere in a garage and you know you already have a main or you have a breaker ahead of it um, you may not need a main breaker in the panel you might just get a main lug panel so main lug is literally just lugs up on the top that feed the panel main breaker is where you have a main breaker inside of the panel a lot of main lug panels you can actually add a main breaker kit to them to make a main lug panel into a main breaker panel. And the last thing to talk about really is the bus bars. So inside of the panel board, you see all of these little fingers. Um, they're kind of alternating depending on if you're, you know, single phase or three phase. The left terminal on the panel at the top where you bring like your black wire in is going to come down and connect to every other one of these fingers of, of this bus bar. And then on the right side, you're gonna have your red wire coming in and the red has its own bus bar and it's gonna go every other as well. So basically every breaker as you go down a panel every breaker is uh, alternating which phase that it's on every breaker that's across from each other is on the same phase so let's just say we have a main breaker that is 200 amps and then down here we have a whole bunch of breakers right there's going to be all these individual breakers probably some over here too so let's say we've got a hot lug, a hot lug, we'll say that we have a ground lug and we have a neutral lug. Our incoming hot is gonna be L1 and then we're gonna have another incoming hot, that's L2. We're also gonna have a neutral and we're gonna have a ground. We'll do a G and a neutral. So these are the incoming wires that are feeding the panel, right? So on this bus bar, the bus bar is gonna go down and you're gonna land all your wires on that. This bus bar is gonna go down. You're gonna land all your neutrals on that, all your grounds on that. Now there's these fingers that go down the back or these pieces of metal that we call bus bars. So a bus bar, what it does is it actually connects this terminal, it goes down and it hits two breakers that are across from each other. So every breaker, every panel that you see where there's breakers across from each other are using the same hot. Then it skips a breaker and goes across and it keeps doing that. It keeps skipping a breaker if this is a single phase panel. Then on the red side, same thing, comes down here, skips the first one, goes to the second. So the bus bars inside of there are actually aligned like that. So two breakers across from each other are gonna be on the same phase 
L1 and L2 are two different phases. It's a single phase system, but it's two different sides of that same phase. So we just say, which phase are you on? We're on red phase or black phase. Or what people will say is like, they've got A phase and they've got B phase. Now, when you hook a breaker into one of these, say that we've got this breaker right here hooked up. This is gonna be on red phase. We've got a wire, we we'll use a red wire, go out to the field to like some kind of load somewhere. We'll say a light bulb. The bottom side of that bulb is gonna be your hot. So it's gonna run, hit the bottom of the bulb. It's gonna go through the neutral, which is the side, the shell is the neutral. And it's gonna go all the way over to the neutral bus. Now that makes a connection with this one. So now we have a complete circuit, right? We see the red bus on this side of the breaker is actually where the red is touching. It's going through the breaker and going out to the wire. So power is able to come in, go out to a load through the bottom of a light bulb, or it could be a vacuum cleaner through a plug. It could be a whole bunch of different things. In this case, it's going through the bottom of our load. It's going up through this lighting element going back down through and hitting the neutral. And it's completing that circuit all the way down and it's going back and forth, back and forth, alternating current 60 times a second. These out here, like you can't see them, but they're actually, when you go out to a transformer, the transformer up on the pole where these wires go to, will show there's a, there's a big old coil in here that we call our secondary. There's another one called a primary that doesn't touch and that goes, that's what the utility lines are that go out on the poles, but it's a completed piece of wire. It's basically just a single piece of wire. So our red comes over and hooks up to this one. This guy going out, hooks up to this one. Our black hooks up to this one. So now we've got both of our wires. We've got a 220, uh, 240 volt circuit between these two, 240 volts. And then our neutral connects to the middle point of all of that. So right here in the middle somewhere, they tap a neutral. So we're able to get 240 between the two hots or we're able to get 120 between each one of the hots. So that from here, you see, right? Like we came down, we went through complete unbroken. Nowhere is this wire broken, goes all the way through the neutral, comes all the way back through and goes all the way back down to the load. So it's a complete circuit the entire way. Now, what about three phase? Three phase works the exact same way, but in a lot of commercial environments, you're gonna have three phase instead of single phase. So we still got a black that goes to one of our terminals, one of our uh, phases and a red, and you'll have a blue most likely. That's most common wiring colors. Here we'll have, uh, we'll put neutral on this side and here we'll put ground on the other side. So same thing, all of your incoming hots, they're going to transformers, but up on the pole, you're gonna have three transformers that are wired together in a specific way. Some of them could be wired in series, some of them could be wired in parallel, which means you're gonna either get 240 volts out of the three phase situation, or you're gonna get 208 out of the situation. One might have a neutral with the 208, one might not have a neutral with the 240, just kind of depends. If it's 480 and 277 instead of 240 and 120, same thing. There's three cans up on a pole or there's some big three phase transformer sitting on a pad somewhere, um, but you still have the complete loops at the other end. And the, the, the layout of the phases is just like this. every phase is alternated. So every three, every three breakers are black, red, blue. And then you go three more breakers, black, red, blue, black, red, blue, black, red, blue, all the way down. So same exact situation with loads. Uh, three phase loads are a little bit more complex to, to explain. And I've done some videos on those. We've got some courses on Electrician U that actually cover like single phase power, three phase power, what all of that is. So check out electricianu.com. There's a link in the description below. Join our membership and we have all kinds of rad, like premium videos and courses and classes. We even have continuing education, all kinds of stuff. If you just want to nerd out like me, I like to nerd out about electrical stuff. Uh, go check out Electrician U.
All right, so I hope that answers some of y'all's questions. I've done some other videos where I've shown inside of breakers. Click here if you'd like to see that video. If you're curious how like the insides of breakers work, how they trip and all of the different trip settings and everything like that, click this video right here. I love you crazy people. I'll see you in the next one.